My name is Kristen Smith and I'm a Community Relations Officer with, with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. And what is the Green Card Lottery and tell us briefly how it works. The Green Card Lottery is actually a program that's administered by the Department of State and it's actually called the Diversity Visa Lottery. And it's a program whereby individuals can register with the program and then selections are made randomly. Um, 55,000 immigrant visas are issued through the program each year. Uh, very important to note that they are random selections um, in the program um, and by folks that have registered for the program. An individual that's interested in applying for the lottery would submit their name and some identifying information to the Department of State during a registration period. Um, then selections are randomly made, um, 55,000 individuals are selected, and then those 55,000 people can um, apply for immigrant visas and actually immigrate to the United States based on a lottery uh, program. We understand that there are green card lottery scams too. How do they work? There are scams. Um, individuals and organizations can claim that they have a special expertise in the program or that they can guarantee that someone is selected for the program or that they have a high rate of selection on their, on their um, clients. When in fact we have to remember that the selections are made randomly and no one has an influence over th the selection process. Um, an applicant may be told to submit more than one application for of course more than one fee which is totally unnecessary because only one application can be submitted. So paying more money does not guarantee that someone will be selected for the program. How can I tell if what I read about the lottery is true information or a scam? Um, the best way to tell if you're getting good information is to obtain it directly from the U.S. government, whether it's written material or it's on a government website, either the State Department website or the website for U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services. Um, a, a website or information that's not published by the U.S. government should be questioned. On our website, um, there's actually um, a, a, a place that you can go that talks about unauthor unauthorized practice of immigration law and it looks kind of like this poster um, and I also have some brochures. Are there other ways that people try to cheat and rob immigrants and could you give us some examples? There are other ways that people try and cheat and rob immigrants. They do this by perhaps selling counterfeit documents or by selling someone legitimate documents that actually belong to somebody else. Um, again, they may claim to have influence over the government or they may guarantee, absolutely guarantee an immigration benefit for the right amount of money. And there is no guarantee. And there is never a guarantee on an immigration benefit. How can I tell if I'm being scammed? There are several signs that could indicate that you're being scammed by someone. Um, you might be asked to sign blank or blank documents or blank applications, or you might be asked to submit false statements to the U.S. government. Um, you should be very careful about who you're dealing with in an immigration benefits um, arena. Um, make sure that you're dealing either with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services or a licensed attorney or an accredited representative. Be wary of meeting people on street corners or in public places, and be wary of giving cash to an individual that you don't know. What safety tips do you suggest to people who are applying for visas or citizenship? Uh, the greatest safety tip that I can give is just to be sure who you're dealing with, that you're either dealing with U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, the agency, um, a, an accredited representative, or a licensed attorney. Um, never sign blank applications um, or blank pieces of paper. Don't sign false documents. Um, keep your original documents such as birth certificates, passports, don't give them to anyone to keep for you. Um, and just be careful who you're giving your money to. Where can I get up-to-date true information about becoming a citizen? The best place to get up-to-date and correct information about becoming a U.S. citizen is from the U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services website. There's a wealth of information about citizenship, how to apply. Um, all of our applications can be downloaded for free. Um, if you are asked to pay a fee for a form, you're probably not on the USCIS website. But um, all of the information on our website is up-to-date, it stays current,
and that's the best place to get information. For more information about immigration and citizenship, go online to www.uscis.gov. You can also call USCIS for information, 1-800-375-5283.